Pennsylvania. Um, heading to a little place, some town in Illinois called Chicago or some shit. Picked up this big fucking box, this crated machine with another little box that goes with it. And um, over in Newark, New Jersey. And uh, yeah, I had a great time over there. Uh, while I was over in the Boston area, I met up with a couple drivers. I met, uh, of course, I met up with Mike and fucking he and I, he took me down to this little place, uh, Concord, uh, Massachusetts. We stopped at a little tavern. Now that was really cool. Because I'm a beer drinker. Mike's not a beer drinker. Mike's not a drinker at all. In fact, he had a root beer, so. Uh, took, we went to this little historical place and uh, I, I don't remember what it was, but I'm sure Mike can tell you if he has But great place, good times. Of course, if you didn't see the, the uh, I called it an interview. It was my first try at like conducting an interview. Never done it before, and uh, you know I can see a few mistakes I made in this thing, but it's still great for to watch. At least for me, I, I love Mike. He's a great guy. And, and, and he's a great conversationalist. And, and like he put it, it's more of like a candid chat. That's, that works. But I want to try my hand at this uh, a few more times. Come on, asshole. I got my fucking blinker on. Let me open. Thank you. was I? This asshole pissed me off. But uh, I really enjoyed my time there. I also met up with another driver, a guy named Wayne. He came and uh, visited with me when I made my last drop in, uh, or one of my last drops over in uh, Rockland, Massachusetts. And as I said in my previous video, you know, man, I love coming out to the Northeast. I always meet some really fucking cool people all the time man and, and even though the roads and people are assholes on the fucking road no matter what I don't care what part of the country you're in fucking Kansas City fucking break cap break check capital of the world Louisiana worst drivers but it doesn't matter where I am it's like I always feel like everybody's the worst fucking drivers no matter where I am it seems but uh though it is nerve-wracking for me a lot of times in the northeast when you get to a big city or something but the people are always just so fucking cool i love it man i, lo I love i love new england new uh all, all that shit man i love it but anyway it's kind of it's probably kind of like uh, other people's kids you, you don't mind mind them so long because then you don't have to take them home and feed them and all that shit. You know, they're cool for that. You like kids, but you don't have any of your own, you know. Anyway, I'm a trucking down through here and god damn I gotta get a fucking shower. I need a shower so fucking bad. I need to get a nice big truck like my dad's and have a shower in there. And I'm sure lots of people would really appreciate it if I got a shower as well. So, as soon as I get to a place, I'm gonna stop, catch a shower, get something to eat. I haven't eaten yet. I kind of laid around all day. This is a really rough week for me. It's, uh, you know, some weeks I fucking bust my ass and run my ass off and fucking just kick-ass week all the way around. I did a good job. I had fun. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. This week I had some fun. But, uh... Oops. But I, I, I think I was not, uh... Couldn't say I did a good job as being a great truck driver anyway. I kind of just... I think I spent 15 hours a night in the boat just trying to sleep. I have a problem sleeping. Right around. Just come inside and get yourself a nice hot shower. I got myself a nice hot shower. 
secured a Flying J in some undisclosed location. Check this out. I went and bought this fucking shirt not far from here. I thought it was cool, you know. I'm kind of wanting to like get hoodies from all over the country, from every state, you know. I thought it that would be really cool. Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip away to the to the video I made to a picture I took right after the shower. I looked absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I put that fucker on, and I was like, "Oh fuck, man! I have to walk out out of this place now, wearing this stupid shit." Anyway, I got me some air fresheners as well. Anyone else having a an affinity with air fresheners like I do? Jesus Christ, I can't get enough of them. Yeah, look, look at them. Just hang them up. But anyway, I've got like uh, got a couple different ones. My favorite, and I think uh, a lot of guys agree with me, is this. Black Ice. That's my favorite. It's my favorite. And then uh, I'm going to mix it up a little bit with uh, some Royal Pine. Leather. And Bayside Breeze. I got a little one. It was the only one that they had that was this size. I'm kind of curious as to what it smells like. They don't have a scratch and sniff on them anymore like they used to. I honestly don't know if they ever did really, but I know the little cans up the cans do. Let's see. Oh Jesus. Smells like you smells like a grandmother's bathroom. Remember the little crystals and shit they would put on the back of the toilet? Or like, remember those toilet paper roll things that you put the toilet paper on and they had those little crystals inside them and you spin it and they release this scent? That's what this reminds me of, so. Yeah, it smells like a grandmother's bathroom. I should give this, I should go give away that giant ass shirt to one of these bigger guys out here and give them this. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to get these hung up. And then I think I'm going to go in here to Denny's and uh, I don't know. I'm not hungry but I don't feel like just sitting in this truck. Especially since uh, I just got all prettied up and shit. So. Well, like I said, I'm gonna go in here to the Denny's. I'm gonna have some dinner, I guess. If not, I'll just sit there and harass walkers by. Nah, I think it might, they just had like a hot fudge sundae or something. Anyway, you wanna check out what I picked up over there? I'm taking to Chicago. Not that impressive. See that buzzing? Maybe you. I'll show you this uh, load I got here. Don't laugh at my truck, it's filthy as fuck. Oh, I can't get a good shot of it, but here's some of it. Fucking, uh, little tall box there. Now yeah, that was fun to tarp in the rain. Picking up another piece in Toledo on Monday before I go drop this shit. Ugh. Man. That really looks fucking tall, doesn't it? Huh. Well, I guess not. I don't fucking know. Whatever. You know, I was thinking about something. They ought to make a place where truck drivers could go, like, get fuel, go have a hot meal, sit down, get out of the fucking truck at the end of their day or some shit, you know? That'd be fucking awesome. A place where people in the four-wheelers go that don't go, you know? Because they can virtually go anywhere. But we just, you know, 
only have a few options. Fucking Walmart won't let us in their locations anymore, which, you know, I don't blame them. I mean, Christ, you have truck drivers filling up their parking lots with piss jugs and shit. You know, that used to make me angry, but, you know, what are you going to do? It's other assholes who ruined that for the rest of us. But now I was just in this flying J and it's went in to go sit and have a little snack or some shit and it's filled up with a bunch of just regular people <laughs> and I uh, couldn't sit in certain areas because you know you got all these people coming in I guess it's football night or some shit I, like I give a fuck man I'm, I've never been into football or any of that bullshit oh. I mean, <clears throat> Christ, you know, <clears throat> why do you go, I mean, if you're not a truck driver, if you're not driving a truck, why do you go to the truck stops and just, I mean, and just pack them, you know, it just, that's something that's always, always gotten on my fucking nerves, it's like, you guys can go anywhere, we are limited to where we can go. And I really love the rest areas when they fucking park in truck parking. Uh, anyway. Anyway. I'll quit bitching. What? I'm a truck driver. That's what we do. We bitch a lot. <laughs>